interests of the Swimming Town Football Club, both Lou Macari and Harry Gregg, have been relieved of their responsibilities due to their inability to work together. The players, what they've done you know, for me today um, in coming round here and giving me the full support is, I mean, it's, it's as good as the day I won the cup final with Manchester United and we all, we all took down Wembley. Um, they are great memories and will never be forgotten, but today was as equally as great a memory and I will never, ever forget it. Do our best to uh, let the board see our point of view and I'm sure everybody else in Swindon will. I think it's a very sad day for Swindon Town Football Club and their supporters. I've never known anything like it in Swindon before. I hope I never see it again. The way he's acted at the club and brought the club on um, and produced some, some... The atmosphere in the club has changed so much since he's, uh, since he's been in charge. And this is the atmosphere that you really need at the club. And uh, it's just so sad that he's going to leave. They don't want somebody to come here and run it as a football club. They want to run it as a hobby. I've been watching this club now for 48 years. I'm also a shareholder, and I've never seen such a diabolical decision in all my life. Any person knows that if there's a dispute in a company, the junior man goes, the senior man stays, and, and we couldn't ask for a better man. There's a very good ball there from Lee Barnard to Mike Graham. Does everything absolutely right, and so does Gary Nelson and that's one nil to Swindon. Uh, very, very good uh, effort there. After 24 minutes, uh, Swindon men ahead by a goal to nil. And just a couple of minutes later, that's uh, Mike Graham popping up, and that shot was a lot closer than it looked on the camera, believe you me. Yeah, and a good effort here from Lee Barnard, playing his heart out this afternoon. I think that all the Swindon players are playing for Lee McCurry at any doubt. Good shot there again from Mike Graham. He might have just clicked the top of the uh, crossbar there. But they were in. Here's uh, David Cole up over his uh, own crossbar to, uh, to clear. And then we have in the uh, second half a uh, very unfortunate incident uh, that Alan Rogers, number 11. It's the Silverback still leading the Steelers by that one point. And a good run by Mike DeVos. They don't, it's an automatic six. Oh, touchdown. That is touchdown. Okay, the ball's back to pass. Let's go uh, out of bounds. Good try to Kevin Ward there. That's he would have got his hands on that. He would have been gone. Kevin Ward has a lot of speed. That's a good throw for Mike as well. Oh, yeah. He... Heat three then, and in red, it's Bo Peterson. And in blue, Alan Rossiter for Swindon. In white, it's John L. Skilden. And in yellow and black, Peter Braun for the Wolverhampton Wolves. Rochester left at the start, but in front it's Peterson, and he's got a job there now, as both the Wolves are challenging him strongly, but it's uh, Peterson just ahead from John S. Gildon. And it's Peterson from S. Gildon and Peter Rahn. And Rossiter comes off your picture into third place.